What's up everyone and welcome to Wednesday's episode of Reptile News. Now we're going to start off in Florida. Normally we talk about some pretty retarded stuff in Florida, but today we're going to talk about the alligators. Apparently researchers from the University of Florida, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and the U.S. Geological Survey have been undertaking a study on the decline of alligators in dry weather. Now they say it's apparently normal during dry years for the numbers that they spot to go down as opposed to wet years when they go up. I guess in dry years they have more competition during mating, they have a harder time moving around, and therefore some of them die off. And while this headline of alligators faring poorly in dry weather might seem like a big shocker, this is a study going off a decade of information and is actually fairly common and it helps researchers and workers know what to do with water management the next year. And now we're going to move on to our title story that's going to get us all the views and that is the water snake versus catfish. Now unfortunately the two videos which are linked in this news story, which you can find down in the description down below, are fairly short videos and none of them actually show who won. However, the videographer here actually said that the snake eventually got the catfish down, which I can't even imagine judging from the size of this fish and this snake. But on that note, I have found Sierra garter snakes with fish in their bellies that just don't seem like they would have been able to get them down, doing pretty good out in the wild. And now we're going to move on to smuggling. Apparently 165 rare reptiles were smuggled. They're sitting tonight at the Bristol Zoo after they came in through Heathrow Airport. Now while the gecko pictured in this story, commonly known as the turquoise dwarf gecko, breeds readily in captivity, they do say they're extremely rare and endangered in the wild. Found in only two locations in Tanzania that are protected under international law. I just hate me a smuggler. You see, I feel like smugglers are one of the like lowest life of uh, animal related crimes uh, right next to abusers and smugglers could potentially be called abusers. After all, they are taking 165 animals out of their home territory, one of only two which they're found out in the wild. So I really have absolutely zero sympathy for any kind of judgment these people get, although I can guarantee it won't be harsh enough. And that's where I'm going to end today's show. If you'd like to read any more about these stories, that link's right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other and we'll see you Friday.